So a while back on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash minty oreos, I asked you guys what kind of nail design I should do because I have these paintbrushes and I've wanted to use for a while and I selected which style had the most likes. So that's what was up there, the three moon pentacle kind of style. So I'm starting out with the, this Nicole uh, kind of protecting nail coat. I have this on already and this just keeps my nails not chipping and stuff like that. And this is my favorite like quick dry black nail polish that I'm going to be using as a base. A lot of people actually from videos that I'd watch don't like these really thick big um, polish brushes but I find them really efficient for getting like a really fast paint job done because you only have to do like three strokes really, the center and then the two sides but I find it really fast for putting on nail polish because in the past, I'm like one of these people who do doesn't like to spend a lot of time on nails. In high school, I used to actually do really detailed nails really often, like once a week, new styles of nails. So I wanted to kind of bring that back since I have these nail polish brushes that I've never used and I've wanted to try. So this is going to be the very first time me ever using nail paint brushes. So I get to share some of my experience with my first time using them. So I'm going to be bringing in this white and it's a Condad, it's Condad nail polish and I'm going to use this brush and I feel like I have actually should have used a thinner brush than this because the lines that I got were a lot thicker than in the actual photo reference. So I ended up making do with what I had because I started that way so I'm like okay well this has to be even now because I'm one of those kind of people <laughs> so I just continued to use this one instead of starting over and I ended up doing more of like a shade in effect in the moons because of how thick the white lines ended up being and I mean like it looks it's not identical to the picture which is really what I like to go for normally when I recreate things. But also that's a really good valid excuse that I can use as well. But I mean like, it did, it did I think turn out in a decent kind of manner for my first time. <laughs> the nail brushes I just bought off of eBay, you can use my link in the description down below and that just helps me out and it doesn't cost extra for shopping on eBay. I get a couple cents of commission for referencing them. You just put in the search bar nail polish brushes and you get a whole bunch of these really neat ones like a lot of other nail artists use here on youtube i actually had more of a hell of a time trying to clean these brushes opposed to using them i find i found in the end that dipping brushes in water while using them keeps the polish from not sticking on them because it can be a bit hard and take a bit of time to actually get them off the brushes. That part was a bit of a piss off to me to be honest. Now because this brush was a little bit too thick, I ended up doing my pentacle uh, not as defined as I would have liked. I actually used a method of coming back in with a clean brush in black and I cleaned up the pentagram style little symbol with the circle. I actually ended up filming another nail style on the opposite hand and that will be in a video next week just because I don't want to post like two nail videos in one week because I mean I'm, I know a lot of people probably don't want to watch nail tutorials too so I want to keep like a balance going of different kinds of content on my channel since my channel is like a mesh of like a bit of everything even though I realize like my makeup and hair videos get a lot more views than the other ones I mean I'm not blind to that I just like to do what I like to do. And I mean, your feedback is always appreciated. I actually finished it off with a 
Wet n Wild clear coat. Now I don't know if this, if it was this hollow clear coat that created it, but I ended up actually smudging the style. So maybe I just didn't wait long enough. <laughs> I'll have to go back and try that stuff again to see if it's actually decent. But do subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel already. Enjoy my awesome crew of killer ass cookies. I love the living hell of you. I will see you guys in my next video. And I also have a Patreon if you guys didn't know this already. It helps support my channel. If you like this kind of video, give me a thumbs up and maybe I'll do more videos like this and ask you guys for more styles that maybe you would like to see me try. I'm literally open to trying like absolutely anything. I have no limits. <laughs>